Lightning, Joe Deary. Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut. Out here in Tolland, Connecticut today. And we're doing some roof washing, some house washing, and some gutter cleaning on an annual client of mine. Roof washing is the add-on today that we don't normally do here. I've already done gutter cleaning with my blower system. And we're running the X6. She lives, thank goodness, because we need it today on this project. We're dealing with some wind out here this morning. You can see the trees moving in the background. We're putting up some 6%. And as you can see, I'm running soap today. I made myself a nice batch. I used about seven or eight gallons of water along with I bought a whole gallon of Eliminator and we made a nice batch. We got another roof wash to do after this today and some more to do again next week. So the reason I'm running soap is we got a nice steep angle here and we want to add a little cling. Beautiful. I had to move the ladder to the other side of the dormer here. We got a 32 up here, about two and a half stories up to get this side. And we can also make this hip roof shot. You can see from here how clean my gutter is. It's nice to have this X6 back in action so much faster than the Remco ever thought of being. Literally cuts my roof wash time in half. Takes me longer to set the ladders up and get prepped than it does to actually shoot the roof. Again, it's a seasonal. Back here again in the fall to do gutter cleaning. And that will give us a chance to take a look at these roofs and see how nice they came out. Windy, windy, windy. There you go. A house wash happens here momentarily. So everything gets a nice rinse. It's been raining like crazy here. Yesterday it rained like mad. Rained almost all night. So everything's very wet already. That's it. Seriously doused. Hey, we set up on another big project for me. X6 roof washing. Already did gutter cleaning on the property with the blower system. Worked out just the way we expected it would. And this is a fairly steep roof, which is again why we're running soap here today. There's a wind to deal with. Wind is the big nemesis. Rain I can deal with, wind I cannot deal with. It's a whole property reset for me here today. That big driveway I just showed you, which I'll turn around and show you again in a minute or two, is concrete. I don't do a lot of flat work. That'd be probably the, that's definitely the biggest concrete driveway I've done to date. Not sure how long it's gonna take me. So I'm sure I underestimated it. I bid this project as a whole though, so it's a package. And that was gutter cleaning, house washing, driveway cleaning. I got a concrete patio out back to clean. So we're set up with a DN10 on the end of the hose. 
which we'll show you in a few minutes when we get back there. Love it. Beautiful. See? Good size driveway for me. All right, we'll pull all the way around back. This house is pretty good size. Again, pretty windy. We got this concrete to do, and this is gonna clean up real nice, I expect. Just water for me. I'm not using any SH. I might post treat with some house wash when I'm done. Now, here we go. All right. Part of what we're doing here is the garage also. And then all the drive. I believe I'm doing this right. I got my hose flaked out, going up and down the whole length of the driveway, making a 180 and coming back up. So I don't go over my hose. I turned the pressure up on my unloader, probably three whole turns. I don't know what I've got exactly, but it's definitely moving faster. Up and down the driveway, up and down the driveway. The back looks like it's not perfect. We had a couple of little stripes over there. A little bit of hazing in here, but overall this looks so much better than it did. It's dried a bit while I've been working in the front. So a good opportunity for me to get a picture. Actually, I came back here to turn off the water. I'm about to ball valve rinse that whole driveway. And I'm a long ways from home. So I'm thinking maybe I can run out my buffer tank while I'm rinsing. See, we got some living, living full tanks. See how much we can run down. Ball valve rinsing. That's how you do it, right? It's gonna look so much better. Oh, now. So much better. Biggest driveway out I've ever done. We don't do a lot of them. I'm slightly outside my footprint here, but this is a friend of mine. So we hooked him up. That's a lot of concrete for me. So we did gutter cleaning on the whole property, roof washing on just the front dark roofs, wash the whole house, did the concrete in the back, concrete up here, dumping some water out of my buffer tank so I can have a bit lighter ride home. And this concludes March for me. Today's Friday, March 29. And we're done for the month. I'm not doing any more work. Counting the two jobs I did today, I did 26 projects this week. That's a fat week for any time of year, never mind March. This is the best March we've had by far, weather wise, project wise. This is one of the biggest grossing weeks I think I've ever had. And definitely the biggest grossing week we've ever had in March. So. If this is any indicator what the year is going to look like, oh boy. You guys enjoy your Easter weekend. Catch you next week.